Hi everybody, it's me, Tina. Just wanting to share with you my very first album that I sewed together. Um, I was a little disappointed when I initially sewed it together because I did not read the directions on my um, sewing machine and when I sewed the paper together, um, it got like really junky looking like the thread is like all snarled like and I was really upset and I just felt like what am I going to do it seems like it's going to be a big waste of paper because it is my favorite sassafras, sassafras paper but I decided I was going to go ahead and move on and use it and I actually like how it came out it kind of reminds me of uh, shabby chic in a way. So this is a little album again that I made when me and my husband went to Orlando, Florida and we went to this little lake um, that had a lot of swans in it and it's funny because this lake is man-made and it's in the middle of central um, downtown. So it's just really fun. So I named the, the album Swan Lake as you can tell and I used all pretty much um, again, sassafras paper. Um, so the first page, I used some basic gray um, roll tape and I had bought these little critter stickers at Michael's and they're kind of hard and flocked and puffy so I liked how they they looked. Um, they're all like little birdies and squirrels and stuff. So it just kind of was appropriate for the theme of outdoorsy. So that's my hubby. And that's the very first swan we saw. Holy cow. We thought swans were like the size of a duck. <laughs> they're like half the size of a human being. <laughs> so um, second page again. Here's some more basic gray um, tape. Um not really washi tape, but it's just fun tape to use. And I used um, pretty much Sassafras's um, flag stickers and all their stickers, um, the alphabets. Um, I used that. I actually did a lot of journaling in this book, which I'm not really fond of journaling. I'm kind of a who, what, when, where kind of gal. But I did journal a lot, and I was kind of happy I did because it's been almost a year since we've actually, um, did this trip. So it was, it was fun to, you know, look back on it and actually have some journaling. This, um, this little park that we went to, you could also bring your own bread or crackers to feed the swans. So that was kind of fun. You know, we didn't have to sneak feeding the animals. <laughs> um, we initially went there because we were going to try to ride the swan paddle boats, but then we had heard that, um, Riding the swan paddle boats was extremely exhausting. And then you might get stuck in the middle of the lake if you get too tired and you can't paddle back. So we decided just to watch other people paddle. So I just kind of incorporated um, some more little flags. Um, the, the little edgers of the paper. Really love to use those. Um, these are Prima. Um, they're like... They're like, they're actually the Donna Downey, um, kabach, I think is how you pronounce it, flowers. Um, so I, I really like those and I use those. Um, so moving along, I, like I said, I did a lot of journaling in this one. I cut out a lot of tags from my local scrapbook store. Um, with the AccuCut machine and I bought tool and I just kind of made it kind of romantic and fluffy. Um, the black swans were my favorite because they had really curly little black, um, tail feathers. So that one I titled Little Ruffle Butt. <laughs> and sometimes I just kind of left pages blank, just kind of enjoyed the open space. Um, here is my absolute favorite punch of all time. It's Martha Stewart's heart punch. It's like the perfect, perfect size. And I also used, um, American craft buttons and I love using embroidery floss. So I did incorporate some of my favorites. Um, this is more journaling. I added little pearls where I could. The alphabets are again all from sassafras. 
um, added pearls. The swans were just absolutely beautiful. It was really fun to watch them. This was a swan that was ready to take off into um, a flying little spree chasing other swans and I just got the perfect picture so that was kind of a nice surprise. But I just kind of stapled the edges. Um, I stapled the the ledgers, you know, the edgers together and just kind of made it fun and gave it that little peekaboo look. Um, again, more journaling. I used different color tools. Um, this was a really cute little cafe that is actually right on the lake. So you get to sit, um, and watch people ride the, ride the paddle boats as you eat. So that was really fun. I'm sorry if I keep sniffling. I have a horrible cold. It just will not seem to go away. <coughs> Excuse me so very much. Okay, here's another one of those little squirrel critter stickers that I had got at Michael's. Um, and here's that Martha punch and just more little pearls and flags. And that cute little duck was so cute. He was waddling around and he had his little feather stuck in his bills so that was kind of cute this page I just kind of folded over and then I punched holes with my copodile and I just tied tool and just embellished with stickers and it was just kind of nice again open open space I kind of like that sometimes this is the very first one that we had saw when we walked up onto the the park and um I took that picture with the instax and I, for some reason, have an Instax that does not really like to take pictures in the sunlight. It does really well indoors and in shady areas, but not in full sunlight. So, um, I don't know if it's just mine or everybody's is like that. So, I don't get very many good pictures outdoorsy-wise um, in the sunlight, which is kind of disappointing. But it is what it is, and it makes each picture a little more special because of it. Here is just another tag, um, more tool, more American crafts, glitter buttons, um, and then the inside I had put today was a perfect day, and we had went away for my husband's birthday, because we went to Orlando, and we were going to go to, um, go see the Harry Potter theme park at, at, um, Universal, so that was, that was the trip. This was, I love using doilies as well, um, more pearls, and I glimmer mist it. Um, glimmer mist is just awesome. I know you really can't see the glimmer, but it's a really pretty aqua. And then these are from Webster's pages. They're just some really pretty little flowers, and it came just like that, so I didn't have to do anything fancy. Um, I just folded this page down, used some basil um shiny glitter buttons and then more floss again these are just those little epoxy um, flowers from Prima but they're by Donna Downey so um, just I just used a lot of the sassafras stuff that you know the sticker sheet and the flag sheet I just seem to you know work well with a collection and then add a couple little bits here and there but for the most part I do enjoy just using what is in the collection. I'm not good at mixing and matching very well, so if it's all together, I can use it and I can work with that. Another tag, some more flag stickers, more epoxies, and then this was that little duck that had the feather stuck in her mouth, and she quack, quack, quacked, and all of a sudden all her little children came flying out of nowhere, and then they were all quacking together. It was really cute. It was really a very, very nice day. Um, really enjoyed it, and I hope to go back sometime soon to see it. Um, it when we went in March, it was it was um, baby season, so these two black swans were um, sitting on their eggs, and this was the wife swan, this was the husband swan, and he was building her nest as she was sitting there um, relaxing in the sunlight. So, <laughs> you know, he was doing his husband duties while she was resting. And then these are two-week-old little baby swans that I almost didn't even see. Um, somebody else at um, 
at the park had said, oh, did you see the two little swan babies? And I said, no, where are they? And I looked and they were literally by my foot. Um, and I really didn't want to put a huge sticker right on the actual page, but above the ducks was like three ugly cigarette butts that it was really atrocious. And this was the only picture I had of the swan. So I had to do something. So I ended up putting that sticker over it. So it's not the best page, but it works. And then over here is actually Mama Swan. Um, so, and then I just basically cut circles in a piece of scrap paper and then put some stickers in the middle and pearls and a picture of Mama and called it a day. Next page is just pretty much the black swan <laughs> and more flags, um, staples from Making Memories and all those fun jewel tone colors. That's old Making Memories ribbon from I don't know what line. Um, more of those Donna Downey epoxy stickers. Um, this was a really pretty statue that was at the park. Um, it was donated from um, Japan and I'm not really sure why it says in that tablet there but it's really hard to read so I you know it was pretty so I took a picture of it and then here is just some more of those sassafras flowers that you buy um, that they're just like in a big bag and you know there's no sticker or anything in the back and you can layer them and make you know your own your own flower bunches. I really like those too. And then this is the view of the actual lake. The lake is humongous. And like I said, it's in the middle of Orlando's Orlando's um business section. So it was kind of a nice surprise. Um so I just cut my little paper like banners. And the very very last page again I had um made a an envelope with with a die from my local scrapbook store. I wrapped tulle around it and then inside I put pictures in that I could not that I could not fit into the book because this trip I actually made um I did take more pictures than my previous video that I made. So and that's it. And it was just a really fun, simple um project. It took me three Friday nights at my local scrapbook store to crop but I really like how it came out. See how snarly and snaggly that looks. I don't, my iPhone isn't really focusing in for some reason. But um, I was really disappointed. But I'm like, gee Louise, this was like $12 worth of paper and I wasn't going to waste it for having some little snarls. So I worked with it and I'm glad I did. I think it came out great. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.